this is this is kind of a hard video to make just because I promoted this so heavily and it ended up having a really really bad effect on my skin so this is a little bit of a public service announcement for your skin save your skin you guys hi guys it's Jordan Byers and I'm fresh out of the shower because I wanted to show you what's going on with my skin Anyways, before we get into this video, don't forget to subscribe down below and give this video a big thumbs up to become part of the hashtag Joey Squad. Now, let me talk about why my thoughts have changed. So as you guys know, I did a full review on the Huda Beauty foundation. I bought two shades of the foundation and the primer and I made a full review saying this is the best foundation in the world I love this foundation this is the most full coverage most beautiful foundation ever and while I still believe that I still truly 100% believe that this foundation has the best coverage of any foundation I've ever used before it just really 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 is bad for my skin so as you can see I have a lot of redness from past breakouts so basically I started using this a couple of weeks ago when I filmed that video let me actually just check to see when I posted that video so that was I posted that video November 3rd so about a month ago and I had been using this for about a week and then I noticed my skin going to crap. To crap! So I have a very, very, very strict skincare routine. I just posted my skincare routine video. If you wanna go check that out, I'll link it down below. So I take a lot of care of my skin. Um, I wear SPF every single day. I use lots of different products that really help my skin stay clear and um, so I spent a lot of money and a lot of time making sure my skin is in tip-top shape anyways so that's why I'm saying that this foundation is the reason before I tried this foundation my skin was the clearest it has ever been so I'm 18 years old I still get you know hormonal breakouts and I mean I'm pretty sure like it's it's normal like on my period I always get breakouts and such but I've never had the breakouts that I had after using this foundation and this primer I was having cystic acne breakouts and I'm still getting them like as you can see this right here is a huge cystic pimple well I don't know if I would call this a cystic pimple but it's just a really deep really thick hard pimple and I was having them down here over here 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 I had a lot on my forehead as you can still see I have some leftover redness from all of the pimples that I had um, I had them on my cheek I never ever ever get pimples on my cheeks for some reason I will only ever get pimples in the t-zone but for some reason after using this this foundation, I was getting a big pimple here, here, I had a big pimple over here, over here, like right here, and even right there, as you can see, there's like a red bump where I used to have a really big pimple. So I was so, so embarrassed about my skin. It just looks so bad, and I wanted to tell you guys, do not, do not buy this foundation if you have sensitive skin or if you have, you know, acne prone skin. Now, I also want to warn people against this even if they don't have acne prone skin because I do not have acne prone skin. Like, I, I use lots of different products all the time because I, literally I do this 
for my job. I review products, so I'm constantly trying new face stuff, new foundations, new primers, new powders, blah, 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 blah. And I never ever have had a situation break out like this. So even if you are not acne prone or if you don't have sensitive skin, I highly recommend maybe getting a sample of this and testing it on your skin and seeing how it goes or just maybe stray don't even buy it just because girl save your skin because i i tested this foundation a month ago and the effects are still on my face like they're still here because when you get a really really big pimple it kind of it scars your skin like this isn't these aren't pimples anymore these red marks aren't pimples anymore except for this one they're just scarring it's red like scarring that I need to that needs to heal if that makes sense anyways I just wanted to let you guys know because I made a full video being like this is the best foundation ever and I'm so obsessed and blah 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 and then now I'm like finding out like girl please save your skin I don't want this happening to everybody anybody else like there's just something I think I don't know what's up with this but I'm just saying like girl I'm not a scientist I don't know what all these ingredients mean but I'm just saying like I'm just putting this video out there being like listen the outcome is absolutely beautiful it's beautiful. It's stunning. It's an amazing finish on your skin. Like I'm I'm actually really sad that this had that effect on my skin because personally this is the best foundation look-wise I've ever tried, but the, you know, outcome on my skin is just not worth it for me. And I wanted to make sure that you guys knew that before going out and buying it and being mad at me for saying it's the best foundation and then it ruined your skin. So anyways, that is today's little PSA. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you have any more insight on why this is breaking out a lot of people's skin, go ahead and leave a comment down below. Once again, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a big thumbs up. It really helps a lot if you thumb up if you thumbs up this video and comment it'll allow more people to see this video so thumbs it up so that more people can be warned about the outcome and effect that this prime or primer and foundation have so yeah thank you guys again and I'll see you in the next video bye <laughs>